Fireball here from Fireball Publishing. Uh, I wanted to be able to show you another one of our super cool coloring books that we just finished. Uh, this one is with uh, with Mike Satterfield, the Gentleman Racer out of Texas. This is the new Gentleman Racer coloring book. This is the cover of the new book that just came out. There's Mike, and uh, this is a Panamera Mercedes, a Goldwing Mercedes that. Uh, is one of the cars that I guess that he drove. These are a collection of his favorites uh, in, as it pertains to vintage racing. We wanted to do a book that focused on vintage racing and this seemed to be the, the best sense. This has our new matte cover, which is kind of velvety. It's really, really nice. A bunch of our books on the back. I thought I'd take you through this and show you guys some of the sketches from the book, the official Gentleman Racer coloring book. It is available on Amazon and on our Etsy store. Uh, this one's a peerless green dragon. That's the first sketch that I did for the book. Uh, these were, some, as I mentioned, some of his favorites, a lot of them pretty unique. The neat thing about a book like this for me is that I, I'm drawing things that I, I never, normally would never draw. So this was uh, kind of exciting, kind of fun to do. Uh, Jaguar C-Type, friend of mine has one of these, uh, aluminum body, probably about a three to four million dollar car in some cases, so it's kind of fun. Always uh, uh, fun to do the backgrounds in some of these and to get kind of creative uh, to uh, to create some weird things in, in some cases, some of the some of the sketches. This is a boat car XP5. Now you're gonna learn about these cars in this book, which is pretty cool. So Mike wrote about a lot of information about each one. So you get a chance to really learn about some of these cars and some of his favorites. Uh, pretty neat stuff. A 1962 Austin Healey getting special. He's got some interesting stories about that. So uh, I decided to put a couple of, of uh, biplane racers back in there, maybe wartime racers along with that. So uh, uh, the drawing the cars are pretty simple for me, but uh, the backgrounds are really kind of where I get a chance to have fun and doodle and do all kinds of things. You guys know that I design cars for movies uh, and done that for uh, a very long time. And, uh, and this gives me a chance to kind of sneak things in every, every now and then. So there's a NASCAR. Uh, this one's the Buick. Yeah, this is a Buick NASCAR. And then I snuck in a little uh, Back to the Future DeLorean up in there, up in the sky, flying. That's obviously from the number two film. Uh, and then uh, this is the Chevrolet NASCAR. And this is kind of a uh, another crash in mid-range flight. Uh, kind of fun to do. So all these are really, would be really be fun to color. And this, uh, this new book uh, just came out about a month ago, uh, BMW 2002. Pretty fun in the Alps. Uh, always fun to color snow. Pull out your white pencils. Uh, Corvette C8. Uh, so although this is not necessarily vintage racing, this is a car that Mike really enjoys. And uh, I got some friends at Chevrolet that uh, uh, gave me a chance to see this car up close and personal when it first came out. Uh, racing against some UFOs, which is always fun. Yeah. Sometimes you don't want to. You don't race against them. Sometimes you just run because. You don't want to be probed, as, as the case may be. Uh, how about an Alfa Romeo? Another classic, vintage, really fun stuff. Uh, the next book we're doing, uh, we have a meeting with Rob Paulson, who is a voice actor. Uh, he did all the voice work for Animaniacs, a lot of stuff. Super cool guy, big car enthusiast. There's the cover, black and white, so you guys get to color your own version of what that would be. That was my version. And then every book gets on page 11, gets a maze. Not easy stuff. This is the gentleman's course. Probably not really a gentleman when you drive that. Um, unless, you know, if you're not just driving it by yourself, it's probably fine. Uh, bug Eye Sprite. Look out. Here comes the Bug Eyes. Mm -hmm. I saw one of these cars at Ojai Cars and Coffee recently. It was uh, an extreme yellow and red color. Interesting color combination. Uh, guy loved it. Uh, pretty fun. I recommend you go to that show, Oh Hi Cars and Coffee. How about a Fiat X19 Delara? This was a car I believe that Mike built and uh, had a lot of fun with it. Uh, look at the size of that wing. I'm sure it creates a, a bit of downforce. A Jaguar XK120M bubble top. Not something you see every day, a very unique car. So I'm not gonna go into a lot of the details about why he chose them, that's all in the book. Uh, you get a chance to read some of those as well as color. But it was interesting, uh, in, anytime we do uh, celebrity books or books that are in partnership with someone, uh, it's neat to see that the, 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 the cars that they'll pick 
and, uh, and then I get a chance to draw them. I've never in my life drawn the Lamborghini Miura. That was pretty fun. Got to do that and put a little bit of a sculpture and environment there. One of my favorite cars as well. Uh, also one of my favorites is uh, original Mini Cooper. This is an urban assault. So this was a car that uh, I guess one of his friends built. And there's like a little speed control module. Yeah. I don't know what that is. How about a little squirrel sitting there, you know, checking things out. There's lots of Easter eggs in this book, just so you know. Uh, a Puma GTE, a little Brazilian sports car. Very rare, not too many of those around. I go and do a lot of cars and coffees. I can't say I've ever seen one, so maybe I have, I'm not sure. And then uh, the Porsche 904, this was pretty fun. Doing some racing with some planes at the speed of sound. Pretty fun, little sound breakage barrier. Neat car. So every, every uh, book has uh, 20 pages. You get to color, other all museum quality, and we do a lot of books for museums. Uh, pretty nice and velvety feel. This is a Rolls Royce Cullinan, about to jump into a dirty, muddy bog. That's what I'd do if I had a Cullinan. Not too many, um, not too many bogs in Malibu, but uh, plenty of Cullinans, I'll tell you that much, that's for sure. Show you the 2000 GT, I think that's the second to last page. Pretty cool stuff. Mm -hmm. You're uh, a, uh, a fan of the Japanese uh, classics. Oh, that is the last. That's the last one. All right, that's it. The Gentleman Racer coloring books, $9.99 on Amazon and on uh, Etsy. Pick it up, uh, and 10% uh, of proceeds goes to dog rescues. Can't lose. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a spectacular week. Get to coloring. See ya.